Kate Winslet saw Saldana and Sigourney Weaver alongside famous underwater photographer Christy Lee Rogers collaborated for the campaign Keep Our Oceans Amazing. The campaign aims to raise funds for a nature protection organization, particularly focusing on ocean conservation. The photographer drew inspiration from James Cameron's film Avatar, The Way of Water. James Cameron and the Disney we are actively involved in the project. It was amazing working with these actresses. Um, we first flew out to London to shoot Kate in an indoor pool there, Kirk Crack, who had done all the underwater you know, diving work and, and training the actresses to hold their breath for up to, I think it's up to six minutes. I think Kate Winslet has the record, right? So Kirk came out and they did some training together. My process is, is, is very different than what they're used to. So there was a little bit of a learning curve and figuring out how, you know, how to translate this over, but we had all the, the dive tanks and everything. We had an indoor pool and, you know, we just kind of, just kind of dove into the process, which is what I like to do. And then we flew after that, we flew black back. And then we flew to Los Angeles and rented the Biltmore Hotel. And they have an indoor pool there as well. And that's where we did the shoots with Zoe and Sigourney. And that was amazing as well. It's a lot of hard work, I'll tell you. I mean, it's just, um, it's 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 a process, you know? So I, I just feel really grateful to both of them because they were very patient with my style, which is a lot different, and really pushing through to get those shots. And the hardest part is getting the face to be really still and serene and not scrunched up. And so, um, so it was amazing. It was definitely a challenge, I think, for all of us, you know, to not only hold your breath, but look amazing, have the face be really serene and, and calm and, and get these shots, you know, and Kirk was there as well. So Kirk did some training with them as well. And he was just amazing. All of them were amazing to work with. Christy, it is quite interesting how your collaboration started with James Cameron. Yeah, so uh, basically this came about because I would say maybe in 2019, um, James Cameron's assistant reached out to me and she wanted to um, have a call, have me have a call with Jim. And so we talked about shooting in the water and how difficult that was. You know, it's just like a craziness to be underwater and, uh, you know, shoot people underwater. Jim is very sweet. You know, we had a, a half an hour conversation and so he wanted to commission me for a project, a muses project. And then that didn't end up going through, but he ended up buying some of my work. And then we just kept in touch. And then, you know, he had just finished filming Avatar 2, The Way of Water. And um, so, you know, he has this amazing love for the oceans, right? So very profound love for the oceans and protecting all of the creatures and the oceans and just our environment in general. So. We had this idea, this was uh, Fraser Scott, who's my art rep, and why don't we do a, a special project? You know, it was something that had never been done before like this for a movie. So um, we proposed the idea and Jim loved the idea. And so then we, you know, we hooked up with Disney and then we just set everything into motion. Like, how are we gonna do this? How, where are we gonna shoot? I just feel like he's very easy to talk with and very easy to create with. You know, he has, very big vision. So I just feel like as an artist, that's what you want. You want someone to say, here, go for it. And and he just let me have a lot of creative freedom, which was just amazing. They had already been working with the Nature Conservancy, Disney had. So they have a, a, an amazing program that they um, already had in place. And we just kind of hooked this all together and, you know, started to set everything in motion to, um, you know, do something special with art, I think, in a way that you can kind of change the world in a different way through art. And uh, that was that was the initial idea and how it got started. The Hawaiian self-taught photographer captures her subjects underwater, utilizing the breathtaking colors and unique lighting. Her works are often compared to the Baroque style and especially of Caravaggio's masterpieces. Indeed, upon exploring the photographer's collection, 
such as muses and luminescence, this comparison becomes evident. Unlike the traditional painters, Christy does not use a brush. Instead, she achieves her desired effects through the reflection of light beams underwater. In addition to photography, Christy also creates video installations. Despite over 15 years of experience shooting underwater, Rogers has never actually been submerged during a shoot. This unique approach has led to Christie often being referred to as the photographer who captures images in water but does not get wet. Yeah, so I started out photographing everything and then I did go underwater. I had so many different kind of cameras. I shot 35 millimeter underwater and I just found what worked best for me was being outside of the water, everything under the water, and then you get this refraction of light. So you get this bending. So it's like an object looks like it's there, but it's actually here. So I was able to create more painting like images doing that it was like this magic you know it was, a, it was almost like i'm creating with the water well i never set out to do anything baroque you know i just feel like that is kind of a part of me that it's it, you know the baroque is very passionate very expressive there's lots of movement and drama and that that's kind of me you know that's like that's what I gravitate toward, even with the lighting. So, and I also like shooting at night. So I just started out by having these really bright, you know, I didn't have any money when I first started out. So I would just have these cheap lights and use whatever I could get. And, um, and I like the drama, the shadows. The photographer records all his ideas in notebook. Typically it takes her a year to create a collection with 23 artworks and she personally oversees every detail, including clothing and colors. While she pre-selects the concept for each shoot, she dislikes over-planning and only shares minimal details with the models to capture as much natural behavior as possible in the shots. Among her remarkable creations during the pandemic was a piece from her collection Tid Human, and this photo was called Riders of the Light. Yeah, so, so everything shut down, right? So during COVID, I decided, and I had already shot this collection, I decided to release that image. That was one of the first image. There was another one called Venus Rising that I put out for charity for kids during that time. But then this image, for me, it was like these angels, you know, looking down on humanity and just sort of giving that hope, you know, like everything's going to be okay. Um, and then we ended up putting that in one of the first hospitals in New York City that was treating all the people that were coming in for COVID, you know, so it was just like a symbol of like hope and that there is still beauty, you know, because I think a lot of us lost that creative edge, you know, it was just like, oh, it's just everything's terrible. You're so worried. You're just so caved in. So it was nice to just put something out and say, look, there is hope. There's we're going to get through this um, and just put something positive out there. So that was kind of how I released that collection was, was all online. There were no shows, you know, um, and then that that image definitely got was popular. It was very interesting, but um, it was it was something that I think kind of hit at the core, you know, of, of, of people. Christy, can you tell us what project are you working now? Well, um, I don't want to give away too much on that. So I, um, I definitely have the initial um, ideas. I haven't put it all together, um, but it is going to be underwater as well. Um, it's going to be a little different. I feel like this one might be a little darker only because after just living in this world the way it is, you kind of see, like I, I want to be a, truthful. I want to have the hope. I will always have the hope there, but I also feel like there's this point in my life where I want to be truthful about the darkness right so um so it'll be interesting and different but um, I'm also painting a lot which is very new for me but I did start to paint and I'm loving that as well it's a whole different process but so you you might see some paintings come out with that collection as well thank you Christy for the interview it was nice meeting you thank you Nini bye bye